about the teams. And uh, please let's give a round of applause for all the teams that are participating here. Let's give a round of applause for the teams from Burundi, the Republic of Burundi. Now in front of the saluting base, we can see the teams from Burundi. And there they come, the teams from Ethiopia. Let's give them a round of applause. Kwachira kandi tushimire cyane ikipe ya Ethiopia. A round of applause for the teams of Kenya. As you can see, there is a, a very interesting sergeant major behind the team. This is the team of the Republic of Sudan representing the Sudan Police Force. Marhabiku. Ahlan wa sahlan. A round of applause for the teams of athletes from the Republic of Uganda. service, the head of Interpol Regional Bureau, distinguished delegates, participants to the fourth edition of Yapco Games. On behalf of Rwanda National Police, it is an honor to welcome you today as we gather for the opening ceremony of the fourth edition of Yapco Games. Let me specifically extend a warm welcome to all players, officials, and other distinguished guests from Yapco member states who will, who will be participating in this one-week multi-sport event. I thank you, Honorable Minister, and our other invited guests for taking time out of your busy schedules to attend this ceremony. Your time is of great importance for us. 
I take this opportunity to also thank chiefs of police who have sent their representatives at this opening ceremony and who have confirmed their personal attendance in its closing next week. I will also thank the head of Interpol Regional Bureau, Mr. Didon Kimilu, and his team for the efforts in coordination and planning process of, this, of these events, these games. It is an honor for Rwanda National Police to host Yapo Games for the first time after similar ones were hosted by our brothers in Uganda in 2017, Tanzania in 2018, and Kenya in 2019. It is indeed a, privi a privilege for us, and with common efforts, we will make sure that the games are conducted in a secure environment conducive for all. IAPCO has already demonstrated its impact through practical activities and partnerships among the 14 member states. Today, we want to confirm our togetherness and esprit de corps through sports. Sports provide a place to come together, to learn, to grow, and to fuel a sense of purpose. This event presents the occasion for all participants to further the cause of promoting law enforcement cooperation for a safer region. My request to you participants is that you must maintain discipline, observe game rules, practice teamwork and fair play because sports is all about happiness and friendship. As I conclude, let me once again warmly welcome and wish a pleasant stay in Rwanda to all participants who have come to take part in this event. I thank you very much. Jambo, jambo wana, habali gani, musuri sana, wageni, wakali bishwa, Afrika yetu, hakuna matata, wanda injiruri, hakuna matata, Tanzania ni amani, hakuna matata, Uganda ni upendo, hakuna matata, Chief guests this morning, uh, who is the Minister for Indiria, Honorable Alfred Gasana, the Inspector General of Rwanda National Police, the Chief of Defense Staff, uh, the Secretary General of National Intelligence uh, Service, uh, the Mayor of Kigari, the Secretary General of Rwanda Investigation uh, Bureau. Uh, Commissioner General, uh, Rwanda Collection, Correctional Services, uh, Your Excellencies, Ambassadors who are here, the representatives of Inspector Generals of the participating countries, heads of delegations, uh, team managers, uh, sportsmen and ladies, ladies and gentlemen, it is my uh, pleasure uh, to be with you this morning uh, to take part in this opening uh, ceremony. Uh, the Yapo Chia person, who is the police chief of Ethiopia, could not be with you this morning uh, because of other duties at home. Um, but of course, he has, has been said by the Inspector General of Rwanda, uh, he will be here on the closing uh, ceremony. 
Uh, let me uh, start by thanking the Republic of Rwanda uh, through the Inspector General uh, for uh, the hospitality shown to all the delegates and the sportsmen who started arriving here a few days ago. Uh, the hospitality has been exceptional. Uh, let me also thank him again for accepting to us the fourth YAPCO edition 2023. I want to, in a special way, to appreciate the organizing committee for the tireless effort they deployed in organizing these games. Despite the many challenges uh, which the region were facing, one of them being the, uh, the uh, COVID pandemic. I cannot forget to appreciate the member countries, own despite the, economic, the hard economic times in our region, has sent very strong delegations to, sp to participate in these uh, games. The last Yapcon games were held in the Republic of Kenya, and before then we had the games held in the United Republic of Tanzania, and of course we started with our brother, the country, uh, Uganda. Uh, I would like to encourage other YAPCO member countries to continue participating in YAPCO activities by offering to us the fifth edition of YAPCO Games in 2024. This region, the YAPCO region, which, which is composed of 14 countries, the African continent and, of course, the growth continue to face very serious threats from transnational organized crimes and other security uh, threats. These threats and the challenges require a regional and uh, continental cooperation among law enforcement officers. And one of the best ways to cooperate or to enhance cooperation and the collaboration among police officers is through sports. And the theme of this sport, as has been said, is fostering police cooperation to fight transnational organized crime through sports. Officers who are participating in these games will create a lasting bond, which will be essential for fostering cooperation. That cooperation will, in, will help in policing the region through sharing of information and intelligence because uh, these officers will be started as a result of the wisdom of our police chiefs who in 2008, through a resolution, decided to start the Yapcon Games. And the first, as I said, were held in Uganda uh, in 2017. Then we had the other uh, Tanzania host in 2018 and the Kenya in 20. Will go a long way in helping in boosting our officers' morale and also promoting talents. I want to encourage other member countries to join these games and, uh, in a special way, welcome Ethiopia, who are operating, who are participating for the first time. In preparation for these games, the Yapco Secretariat and the Republic of Rwanda held seven meetings. Two were physical, which were held in Rwanda, and I thank Rwanda again for supporting those meetings. Five were virtual, and four were aimed at, at assessing and reassessing member countries' preparedness and the readiness to participate in these games. Uh, the games, the team, through those meetings, conducted a study tour of all the venues, uh, and I want to assure the heads of delegation that the venues are well prepared for these games. Let me end my speech by once again thanking the police chief of Rwanda for the great work he has put in place to ensure that these games take place. I also appreciate the technical organizing committee for the excellence organization. I pledge the IAPCO Secretariat and the Interpol Bureau for East Africa will continue to, to support all the member countries to fight cross-border crimes and to make, to make this region a safer place for investment and, uh, and the development. I wish all the teams participating in, the, uh, in these games the very best 
Please enjoy the games as you build strong partnership. Thank you and may God bless you. Kigali, the Chief of Defense Staff, Rwanda Defense Force, the Secretary General of National Intelligence and Security Service, the Commissioner General of Rwanda Correction Service, the Secretary General of Rwanda Investigation Bureau, Heads of Head of Interpol Region Bureau, representatives of police chiefs from Burundi, Ethiopia, Kenya, Sudan, South Sudan, Tanzania, and Uganda, all protocol observed. Good morning. It's my highest pleasure to preside over the opening of the fourth edition of East African Police Chiefs Cooperation Organization, IAPCO Games. These games are organized under the theme Fostering Police Cooperation to Fighting Transnational Organized Crime Through Sports. On top of existing exchange of programs, and the other operation aspects of police cooperation, this edition of the APCO Games, as expressed in its theme, is another sign of commitment for all of us here as regional organization to enhance the sharing of best practices and experiences. There is no doubt that this entertaining approach of cooperation creates stronger bonds and good memories among members of, dif of different police institutions participating in the games. It is therefore a milestone in consolidating interoperability in the domain of law enforcement with the region and with time, we ultimately culminate into a common policy doctrine in the broader spirit of integration. The Interpol through Region Bureau plays important role in fostering cooperation through dissemination of information. In the same perspective, 
Sports is another opportunity of cooperation which brings together law enforcement agencies but also closer to the people they serve. Considering the dynamism of contemporary policing landscape, where law enforcement agencies have to be proactive against organized and transnational crimes, which are increasing due to globalization and technical advancement, I believe that cooperation is a must to ensuring safe and secure environment for the entire globe in general. Crimes have become borderless. Wherever they are committed, they create a spillover effect in neighboring countries. We are witnesses of shocks inflicted to populations in our region by terrorist groups, including but not limited to Al-Shabaab, ISIS, ADF, and FDRR. If not effectively confronted and neutralized, these terrorist groups will keep being a serious hindrance to peace, security, and prosperity in the region. Rwanda believes that there is an inseparable nexus between security and development. Hence, there cannot be development without security and vice versa. Therefore, if it is widely agreed that the fight against transnational crimes and insecurity is among mechanisms towards development, there is a need for countries, law enforcement agencies to work together with maximum cooperation in fighting them to achieve development of our people. The cross-border character of modern-day crimes makes it difficult to any single country to address them alone. Reason why I cannot emphasize enough uh, the value of cooperation among law enforcement agencies in strengthening the level, of the level of professionalism in the common endeavor to confront transnational organized crimes, namely terrorism, human trafficking, drug trafficking, cyber crimes, money laundering, piracy, to name but a few. I therefore applaud the police cooperation in our region, the close partnership and support by the Interpol Region Bureau towards crime prevention. I also commend all the organizers for the planning up to this day. To all guests in general, police heads of delegation representing their countries here, I wish you a great stay in Rwanda. To all players and teams in all disciplines that will compete in the games, I wish you good luck. On this note, I declare the, the fourth edition of the AAPCO Games officially open. I thank you.